you believe in one thing that the judiciary will work do you i do but listen the law is not a game for politicians to play the constitution is not a puzzle for candidates to toy around with justices are not in place for politicians to refer other politicians to this is classically what is going on now but do you have faith in the courts i do not why so there is a sitting senate president who contested presidency and lost and today he is declared senator electoral act violated promises violated now they are inching to violate the constitution we should sit down and be afraid and not talk about it no way Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is an interpreted document. There is nothing left out. 25% in each of at least two-thirds of the states of the Federation, which are 36, and the FCT. You come and rig elections, bastardize the system, then tell people to go for interpretation. After voting, all hell was let loose. What they promised us three days earlier on Wednesday was that there would be electronic transmission immediately from the polling units. And it is there in INEC guidelines and the Electoral Act that no collation shall be made without reference to the IREV. They were collating without reference to IREV. 4 a.m. has never happened in the history of Nigeria after adjourning without specifying the time. A so-called INEC chairman sneaked to the uh, coalition center and announced the result and declared a winner. Nigerians are law-abiding, self-respecting, peace-loving citizens. I have heard about organized crime, and in our petition, there is something that has to do with organized crime. Drug peddling is the epitome of organized crime. In America's 1930s, there was Ben Seagal, a murderous individual who controlled the state. Only in the 1980s, Pablo Escobar, he threw a justice from a helicopter down to earth. We have it written in black and white from a U.S. courthouse that someone somewhere once forfeited $460,000 and is now a president-elect in Nigeria, the world's greatest black nation. In the United States, Nigerians have the highest educated expatriates, and this is the best we can do. I can just tell you, out of 18 political parties that have filed presidential candidates, it's, it may be in order to say 15 of them are nearly nowhere to be found. Out of the remaining three, two of them have misconfigured themselves to win elections in 2023. They have misaligned with Nigerian political history. And that is what leaves only Labour, the only party waiting to be declared winner. These two other political parties, yes, they are on the ballot paper. Waste Nigerians' time. They are wasting our time. They are overheating the polity. None of them can be declared. None of them can win elections. These elections better be good. I know what I'm saying. We are on the cliff edge. Nigerians can see the clear difference between Obimi and between the others. And Nigerians are feeling what they are feeling. Come and do something differently is between you and Nigerians. APC is actually probably conducting its own parallel election in which their own beavers will communicate to their own INEC and then they will announce that they are the winners. This is a party. It's already at war with itself in the election month. They are at daggers drawn. This is a political party that has not fulfilled one promise. APC can do anything. APC can say anything. But one thing I know is that whatever they say, I 